Hola mi gente and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a dark nighttime look using the Tati Beauty palette. Now I have already showed you guys how to do a neutral look and a colorful look. So I decided might as well sit down and do a nighttime look, a dark, very smoky look. So as you can see, I already have one eye done. I wasn't sure of how I wanted this look to turn out. And then I came up with this. I wanted to do a little bit different. As you can see, I didn't put a glitter shade. I used a metallic and I put it towards the center of the eye. So if you want to learn how to recreate this look, then keep on watching this video. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel so weird having one eye done already. Like I'm looking at myself in the monitor and I just see this eye BAM in my face. And then I just see this one and it feels a little weird. This one just looks really small to me and this one looks blown up. So I wanna stop with this weirdness. So let's get started. So when I did this eye, I started off with Poet in the matte shade as my transition. And for that, I took my Morphe M441, which is a fluffy tapered brush. And I'm just going to start off in my crease. And then blow it up as I go towards the brow. I'm not gonna lie guys, this feels very weird to me. I'm so used to doing one eye and then showing you the end result with both eyes. But I don't know, I wanted to try something different. As you guys can still hear, I am still recovering from this cold that I want to get rid of. And the worst part is my little niece is sick, which she is two years old. And then my four-year-old is starting to get sick too with the cold. So I'm kind of scared that I'm going to get it back. And I don't want that. I hate being sick. I'm really hoping it goes someone else because I already had it. So I'm hoping my immune system will do something about it. That I could only hope. And I'm just blowing this up. Now I'm just making the shape I want my eye to be. Okay, now I'm just gonna put it a little bit back into my crease a little bit so that that's the area I want it to be the darkest at. Okay, now I'm taking Poet using the same brush. I'm going to put it into my outer corner and my inner corner. Okay, now that I'm happy with how Poet looks, now I'm going to go into my next shade, which for that is going to be Memory in the matte shade, which is the black shade in the palette. Now for that, I'm going to take my Morphe M507, which is a small tapered brush, and I'm going to put Memory into my outer and inner corner, and then into my crease. First, I am packing it on. on both sides because I want it to be the darkest in my inner and outer corner and then I am connecting it in my crease. Okay, now I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to go into my Morphe M433, which is a flatter brush that is still a little fluffy towards the end. 
going to take that same color. First, I'm going to put it into the inner and outer corner. And then, with whatever sets, I'm going to blend out the edges. Now for this part, you do want to be very careful. You do not want to put too much pressure because you don't want to deposit too much color. For blending, I always recommend using the softest pressure so that you don't go overboard. Okay, now that I am happy with that, I'm going to go back into my Morphe M441 and take Poet and blend it into what I had just blended with Memory. Basically, I'm gonna blend out the edges of Memory with Poet. And I'm only taking the slightest bit of Poet and I'm going to use the slightest pressure possible and blend Poet into memory. And I prefer to go little by little than go in with too much pigment and not being able to go back. Which is why I always recommend taking your time. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Poet and Story. And just put that right above where I blended Poet. Just to lighten up the look a little bit. I'm going back into Poet. And then I'm going to go back into my Morphe M433. And I'm going to take Memory just a tiny bit. Place that into my inner and outer corner. Just put it on a little bit just because I felt like I had lost it a little bit. Okay, now we are ready to put in the metallic shade. And for the metallic shade, I decided to go in with the metallic shade from memory just because I really wanted this look to look dark and smoky and nighttime. So what I did was first I mapped it out with my Morphe M507, which again is that small tapered brush. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put it on my brush, and I put it towards the center of my lid area. Now with the brush, it does take a little longer to show up, but again, I just want it to map out where I'm going to put the metallic shade with my finger. Now, taking my pinky finger, I'm going to go into that shade. And apply it with my finger. Okay, now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to take memory and put it back into those outer corners. Okay, now we're going to move into the lower lash line area. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flat brush, like this one, and I'm going to take memory and then it close to my lower lash line. Always be careful guys not to poke your eye or go actually into your waterline.
Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Morphe M507, which again is that small tapered brush. I'm going to take the matte shade Poet and smoke out. that black always remember to connect the top with the bottom guys very important you don't want to go out in public or take a picture and then you see a gap from the top to the bottom that's the worst that could ever happen to somebody it just doesn't look nice Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black eyeliner. You could use any black liner that you have. I'm just going to use my Avon eyeliner in Black is Black. And I'm going to line the waterline just to make this look more bolder and look more smoky and nighttime. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put in my inner corner highlight. And for that, I'm going to take the metallic shade in Aura. Just because I felt like that was the most appropriate shade. I felt like the other metallic shades were either too brown, too red, too purple, or too dark. Or it just seemed the best to brighten up my eye area after all of this black. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone using, what is that, on the brush. Okay, now I'm just going to apply my mascara, my false lashes, and some lip gloss. And I'll show you the finished look. Okay, mi gente, I'm back and this is the finished look. All I did was apply mascara, and the mascara I used was my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. And I applied some lip gloss, and the lip gloss I chose was from Kylie, and it's her high gloss in Slept On. Okay. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe comment down below if you would like to see more videos like this all right bye guys